Welcome back to Red Panda of Destiny. Um, so we're in for a little bit of an interesting episode. Basically, it's a virtual version of the numbers. And uh, I don't know how I did not see that woman when I walked past. <laughs> anyway, so this is sort of a the little machinima of us driving um, Interstate 5 in San Andreas. Although, confusingly, you're about to see Interstate 2. For some reason, the ramp is numbered weird. Interstate 2 is the one you can see um, going that way. This ramp does not connect to Interstate 2. I don't know why they, they numbered it wrong, but hey. Details. So what I thought we'd do, and that's why we have a little window up here, is look at the real Interstate 5 um, and uh, the US 5 and the California 5. So we'll start with US 5. Um, you can see here, it well, in the teensy-weensy little window, you might want to full screen your video, it runs all the way the full length of California, Oregon, Washington, connects Mexico to Canada. The only interstate that connects U.S. to Canada. Um, though I-69 does start at the Mexican border and end at the Canadian border, it is a, a, a broken line. It has many gaps. I mean, there's like three segments just in Texas. It's crazy. <laughs> Maybe one day they'll finish it. But for now, I-5 is the only one. Um, a lot of people think I-35 does, but it actually cuts off in Minnesota, I think. In the When it hits one of the Great Lakes, it just stops there. It doesn't go all the way to the border. So yeah, I think I-5 is probably one of the most important interstates in the U.S. I mean, I kind of think of it as the big three. There's I-5, I-95, and I-35. But let's move on to the U.S. 5 should be here, um, which is on the complete opposite side of the country. Uh, runs through Connecticut, New Hampshire, Vermont, and it looks like into New Hampshire a little bit. Did I, I call Massachusetts New Hampshire, didn't I? Did I? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, it goes through two, two, or, two or three states. Uh, runs from the coastline to Canada. So, not particularly interesting. And then, of course, there is what used to be called California 5, but is now called California 35, or the Skyline Boulevard. Has some nice twisty bits in the lower section. Can you see my Oh, you can see my mouse, but it's it's in the wrong place. And well, so yeah, it just runs in the, the Bay Area up to San Francisco. And then I-5 on that map would be just um, over here, the other side of the Bay. I believe it runs through Berkeley. Pull up my map and see. We should be about done with our video. Oh, no, it's way over here. Okay. But they changed the name when I-5 was built because apparently it would confuse people. Also, what amazed me about doing the research for this is California doesn't have a sub-highway system like Texas does, which I found kind of surprising. I mean, California is a pretty big state like Texas and has a lot of people, but I guess Texas is the only state that felt the need to have a sub-highway network. Um, and as you can see, we've just finished... Um, let's see what that video does when it cuts off, I'm not sure. But yes, um, I-5 in San Andreas runs from downtown Los Santos to the docks. And uh, that's it. After, after it passes the docks, it turns into a state highway. Um, so we'll be doing these videos for the things that we actually have a number for. I'm actually going to show you that right now. It's right here. Make this full screen. Oh, it's not the right shape. Oh, well. Um, but we have our Odyssey of Horsepower document. It's got a lot of pages. Uh, here we go, GTA 5. So we just did the caddy. My mouse is probably wrong again, isn't it? Um, and you can see it in my little formulas for upgrades here. Helps you decide what's what. Um, but I believe the highways they used in the game, uh, we'll be doing 11, 14, um, I believe 68 was one of them. That's sort of the, the spoof on Route 66. But the game has California routes, well, San Andreas routes, U.S. routes, and interstates. Um, though I think this is the only interstate we'll be doing. The rest are lower. It's... One, one, two, four, and five, I believe. And as you can see here, there is no one, two, four, and five. Of course, it's skip three, the one that we actually have something for. But we have zero for the bicycles and 
three for the the caddy and six for the Vespa, and then of course it goes up with upgrades. But yeah, can't go any further with that. But I'll try and release those closer to when they should be coming out. And while there is nothing on my screen now. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Um, we'll, of course, be trying to do this in real life at some point. Um, actually, working on editing the first one. The uh, Technically, we did it with the, the F-150, but I didn't, I didn't record it for um, various reasons. forgot my GoPro being the major one. But uh, we did do one with the Miata that's coming out, so that will be out... Oh, wait. Uh, in... <laughs> Uh, December, I think, at this point. But, yeah. So look forward to that far in the future. Um, there will not be anything interesting happening until December. That's as far as I've made videos for. <laughs>